to do a rigging check after uh, any adjustment on the push pull tubes, cables, um, fuel county unit, and so. So uh, let's wait for the whole system to uh, start up. And we're gonna start, we're gonna start following the manual. The rigging check, we're gonna start verify the over travel of the minimum and maximum stop on the N1 mixer boxes. Make sure the stops are being contacted before the end of rotation of the engine one and engine two, uh, two scripts. Okay. Rotate engine one and two, two script from cutoff to idle, stop. Let's do this. Right there. Make sure the auto stop are preset. Activate the solenoid of the N1 mixer box and continue to turn the engine one and engine two twist grip until there is contact with the fly stop. Engine number one, engine number two, and right there, we can feel the stop for the fly. Fly and the two lines from the throttles are already aligned. Make sure the fly mark, see the fly mark here, on the switch box, the switch box assembly indicates, uh, indicates within the fly mark on the engine one and your two uh, twist grips, like you see it in here. Make sure that the power lever 42 of the fuel management module, see the picture here, is aligned with the slot on the fly position of the rigging plate. Verify functionality of the fly stop going away override by rotating the engine one and engine two twist grip, uh, twist grip until blown away override is activated. Free movement should now be possible between the max stop and the fly stop reset. Gonna do engine number one first. It's stopped right now, but if I put it harder, I go over and now I can go back. You can number two. Okay. Now they are already reset. You can blow it away, go back, wait, and it's already reset it. You can blow it away and reset it. Verify the fly stop reset and the high side idle stop by rotating in your number one and number two twist grip back to idle make sure that the idle stop is preset this is the, the idle stop and then this is the fly stop turn the engine one and engine two twist grip back to fly right it is right now and make sure that the fly stop is again preset see the stop you can feel the stop right there this confirms that the fly stop has reset before reaching the idle stop. Visually examine, examine each control tube, rod, end, and pretty much checking, telling you to check everything that you have been done on the rigging process. Okay, now we're going to be doing it is the RVDT. Auto rigging. The RBDT stands for Rotational Variable Differential Transducer. That is the electrical signal goes to the computers to let them know what is the position of the throttle. Uh, for that adjustment, you have to make sure that you already did the step we just did it before, before you go to this step. Now, we're gonna be doing only right now engine number one. Engine number two will be exactly the same thing. We're gonna do only one engine and you do one engine at a time. Prepare the multifunction display MFD on the pilot side as follows. We're talking about pilot side, co-pilot. On the pilot side, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna go to the comp, we're gonna go maintenance, menu, From the maintenance menu, we're gonna press the engine ECU soft key. 
ok If you look at it, we're gonna have pretty much everything, all the numbers, we're gonna be reading be later. <clears throat> on the um, on the one in, in, in operative training, which is located right here, we're gonna have two uh, switches. Uh, we're gonna have it on the left one, on the off, on the normal position, as you see on the picture, I put it in here on the video. And also on the one engine operative switch, engine number one, number two, we're gonna keep it on norm, normal. Turn easy, easy power on the, le on the select the PLA to fly position. What we're gonna be doing now, we talk about engine number one, switch, we're gonna put it on the uh, two main, which is gonna be right here. On the engine fire panel, this is the way you're gonna set it up for the rigging. You're gonna go where you're gonna have the engine control and you're gonna press lift it and you're gonna put it in manual back to auto. That is right when you start getting the settings for this process. For doing this process, we have to check out, get an indication on the co-pilot uh, screens. Press this, come, come, yeah, come, maintenance, engine is you, and then the status, there we go. Now, if you look at it, we left it on the pilot side, pretty much all the degrees, all indications we're gonna be seeing later. Uh, as you can see here, when we have the pilot, we're gonna be moving to to the fly position, supposed to be reading here 58 plus or minus one degree. In here we have in 58.50, which is within limit. Okay. If this number is not correct. What you do now, you go into the mixing ball uh, box and you're gonna start moving the RVDT to get that number when this is right here. We see the fly, the line, and if you have that number, maybe you change the mixing box or you make any rigging adjustment and you don't get that number, that's where you're gonna get the 58 plus or minus one. This is the rigging of uh, the it's some box back there. What do you call that? RVDT? RVDT uh, is the is the way the computer knows the position of the throttle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a potentiometer. Yeah, it's it, like it a is. Potentiometer. If, that's you like, if you change the Where uh, or... Tremendo is telling me on the 139 is linear because the throttle moves this way uh. and this moves this way. So it's the same thing. Oh, okay. Uh, like the autopilot. This is what LVDT is the linear actuator for the autopilot. The LVDT linear, this is rotating, rotating right rotating. there. But this one, it got a slot. You lose them up, and you can turn it around to get that degree we want. Yeah, whatever degree you want. Of course, this is okay. This is a good helicopter. We have. Yeah, it doesn't have to make it. Just and what you have, you have to leave the throttle in the flight position. Is that what you're saying? That's what you, you that's what you calibrate it. Oh, okay. We're doing a check, and uh, it's pretty good. It's right there, 58.50. Oh, okay. 58 plus or minus one percent. This is percentage. You okay. say you do this if you change the engine or the cable, right? Or the fuel control unit, or the mixing lever, okay. or imagine you the mixing box, or rigging. Okay, yeah. Any one of those. Any of the things you're going to be involved on it. And do an auto rigging on the RVDT as follow. To adjust the high rigging angle of the RVDT, Slowly increase the throttle to a fly position. Example against the fly stop and do as follow. Like uh, this one is already in fly position. I'm talking about engine number one. On the pilot collective stick, this is the pilot collective stick, set the switch 30 seconds, two minutes, one engine operative limit switch to the 30 second position. Right here, 30 seconds, go 30 second position. This is and a way to tell the system that we're going to be doing some checks for this matter 
we're gonna start facing on the on looking at the co-pilot MFD and make sure the waiting height you can put it out there the waiting height is located you see the center on the rigging no no look, look at the screen right there waiting high the second line is a waiting high message is shot on the rigging text box and because we're doing the number one is the left box if we're talking in number two the box on the right side should be already illuminated we're doing only in the number one on the pilot collector stick set the sediment the 30 second two minutes one year and we're going to switch this one here to the two minutes and if you look at it the message changed to accepted you see that line this change from waiting to accepted to adjust the low rigging angle for the rvdt slowly this is the high slowly decrease the throttle to the idle position now we're gonna throw the throttle to the idle position against the stop and do as follow on the pilot stick switch set it up to the 30 seconds like uh, you see here well, 30 seconds and now we can see on the co-pilot over there it's gonna tell you that the low waiting low message is shown okay now we're gonna go back to the collective switch and we're gonna go to the two minute and look that it's gonna change to the accepted low uh, indication on the co-pilot mfd make sure that the accepted low message is now shown like uh, you can see at this moment We are not going to be doing on this helicopter for real because all this rigging process, in a way, you have to store it in the system. But I'm going to show you how you do this. In order to adjust to uh, store this information, we're going to slowly decrease the throttle onto the power lever angle value and say zero. If you look at it here, we're going to find zero. For that, I need to go and I start going back to zero you can look at it right here I need to slow down to zero very sensitive okay we got already the angle of the throttle we already went we passed on the shutting direction the idle stop what we're gonna be doing now we're gonna go to the uh, switches where we got one in operative training and we're gonna be setting the left dispose, uh, display to switch on the uh, the right position now we are not going to do this because really it's for setting a new one if you're doing any real rigging okay so we have to do you go here and you're gonna put it on the right display right here as you can see in the picture on the video next you're gonna get on the engine number one and engine number two and we're gonna switch it to whichever engine we're doing in this case we will be doing engine number one we're gonna throw this one on the engine number one. Doing so on the pilot MFD, make sure that there is a small changes on the power lever angle. What we do here during this process, there's gonna be a small moving of the angle. Then on the panel, on this panel right here, uh, but we're gonna set the engine uh, number. Uh, one and two switches we're gonna put it back in normal normal really uh, in the initial EPIs normal is off so what I'm telling you this that uh, every time we say normal is like in a way is turn up and what we're gonna do this this is a final check of uh, all the position of the throttle and it go as we go 
full cutoff. It's cut off right now, the throttle. We're gonna make sure it's cut off, it's cut off completely. We're gonna have a range that go from minus five to minus nine degrees. On this particular case, we have minus 8.92. The next one, or the next check will be idle from cutoff. The idle stop have to part before when you're gonna open the throttle or when you close it. In this particular case, we're gonna set up or look at it when you go to idle from the cutoff. From this position which cut off, we're gonna go to stop right there. And the range supposed to be from seven degrees to 11.5. We got right now 8.53. The next one is on the stop on the fly coming from idle. So what I have to do, I'm gonna open the solenoid and go to fly. If you can look at it, this is the fly guide and here's the stop. Go right there, you got the fly with the line on the engine number one throttle and it gives us from 53.5 to 59. And here, we're gonna have 57.39, which is within range. And then you can do it a different way. You can blow it away and go full throttle and have to be from 99 degree and above. And this one we got 100.7. Because we have another solenoid on the other side of the fly, we have to go here and find the stop on the fly from this side. We're doing what we did before from full cutoff to the idle, now from fly to the idle. It's, it's blocking the... Oh. Yeah. Okay. So what we're doing now is the, the stop on the high top of the solenoid for the idle right here. We were doing before on the other side. This is one you want to go to shut it down. Right now we're in the idle. And the dimension or the, the degree we're looking for from 6 degree to 10.5. In here we have 10.98. So this is the high side of the flight idle. The right. high side from the uh, idle stop. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, the next step is for going, we're gonna go on the overhead and you start popping the circuit breaker and reset it. And that is the final step when you're gonna, in a way, record these new settings after you're doing a, a full rigging of the, um, uh, the fuel control unit or the throttle of this helicopter EPI. What's the name of the circuit breaker? This one is going to be the circuit breaker is the ECU. Let me look at the ECU. When you finish this part, we will explain to you guys. You have to go here in the ECU and you're going to cycle. You're going to pop it out, put it back on. So now you're going to show the new setting we just did the checks on this. And all this information is going to be stored on the DCU. Now, on the pilot side, if you go here, make sure the power lever angle value is within the range shown on the previous table that we already explained to you in all the position of the throttle or record values. Comprehend the rigging, uh, the values before we save it and after, supposed to be the same correct angles that we've recorded before. And that we can say is pretty much the full rigging of this uh, 412 EPI.